Lightfall is right around the corner, and with the cutscene that Bungie dropped after the important imperative quest, the hype is at an all-time high. Not to mention the hype behind the new subclass Strand, we have a lot to look forward to. And with us looking forward to all of that, specifically Strand, I think there may be an exotic that no one expects to be good become a pretty solid choice. That exotic is none other than Bellwinter's Helm for the Warlock. As of right now, Bellwinter's Helm isn't used very often, as it is an exotic that isn't the most useful based upon the abilities Warlocks have access to right now. However, with Strand, that may change. If you enjoy the video, leaving a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Now let's get right into it. If you are unfamiliar with Felwinter's Helm and its exotic perk, here's its description. Warlord's End. Powered melee final blows create a burst of energy that weakens nearby targets. Finishers and final blows against more powerful targets increase the radius of the burst and the length of the weakening effect. Now if we dive a little bit more into that perk, there is some community insight that is on the Destiny Item Manager app, and this is what it says. Powered melee kills and finishers apply weaken, increasing damage by 30%, and blind in a radius around the enemy. Duration and range are dependent on the enemy rank. Guardians share the effects of elites. Enemy ranks are minor elite mini boss boss with ranges of 10, 15, 20, and 25 meters, respectively, centered on the enemy. The durations are 5, 10, 15, and 20 seconds as well. A finisher duration is 10, 15, and 20 seconds. Now, with what melee abilities Warlocks have access to, this isn't a top tier exotic, with the solar melee ability being alright at creating powerful weakening burst, and arcs being pretty solid as well. Void and Stasis are pretty redundant when it comes to this exotic. The finishers are always going to be a solid option as well to pair with this helm, but where I see this thing coming into play is actually with Strand. As stated in the Bungie article Inside Strand, Warlocks have access to their new melee ability Arcane Needle, which is a deadly projectile which tracks targets, causing high damage and unraveling them upon impact. Warlocks will be able to quickly chain three Arcane Needle attacks in a row. So right away, you can see that Warlock's having three separate powered melee attacks and all of them unraveling enemies. Now, if you haven't read the article, you may not understand what unraveling means. So what unraveling does is the following. Attacking an unraveled enemy will cause threads to burst out of the target and attack nearby targets. Once hit, that target will also become unraveled. So not only will you have three separate melee attacks, you will also unravel these targets, allowing you to chain unraveling to large groups of enemies. If we pair this with Felwinter's Helm, we can not only create this chain effect of unraveling, but weakening as well, making this a deadly duo, especially for large packs of enemies. As much as I would love to create a fully built out build for you guys in this video, there are a lot of uncertainties around how exactly some of the mods will work, such as elemental wells, or now damage type specific spawned objects. So I won't create a full on build in this, but I can speculate a little bit about what sort of mods you could run based on the information we know now. So let's get right into that part. Before I explain some of the mods that I think will pair nicely with this exotic, you should know that for stat distributions on this kind of build, I would target these three stats. Strength for more melee regen, then recovery, which will give us our rift, and if you pair it with one of the aspects we were given info on, the weaver's call, which allows warlocks to thread three threadling eggs upon rift cast, which will then hatch into threadlings when they hit the surface, and then any perch threadlings are converted into additional eggs. If you aren't sure what threadlings are, they are specific to the Warlock Strand subclass, and they are little explosive minions woven from strand matter that will run forward, jump on enemies, and explode, making them a ton of fun to use from the looks of it. The last stat I would recommend focusing is Resilience, obviously due to the damage resistance gained from maxing it out, which will be 30% upon the launch of Lightfall. Now, if you take a look back at different screenshots we were given inside the Build Crafting Evolved article Bungie dropped a while back, you can notice that we are given three slots for these combat mods instead of the two we have now. We were also given a few tidbits of information about where these exotic mods will be slotted as well, so based off of that, here are some mods that would benefit this exotic. Hands-on, which should go in the helmet slot, gives you super energy when you get a melee kill. For Gauntlets, you could go with either Momentum Transfer, which gives melee energy on grenade damage, or Melee Kickstart, which gives melee energy when you fully expend your melee charge. On your chest piece, you could use a Reserves mod or Damage Resist. On Legs, you could run a mod that gives you melee energy when you pick up an Orb of Power, such as Invigoration, or you could use a Scavenger mod. Then on the class item, something like Outreach, which gives you melee energy when you cast your class ability, would be a good call. 
especially if you pair it with Weaver's Call Aspect. Now, since we don't have much info on those damage type specific spawned objects, I left mods around those out. However, they would also be a phenomenal choice if they work like Elemental Wells still do. I can create a more in-depth build once Lightfall drops if you guys want. Personally, I definitely will be giving this exotic a try in Lightfall with Strand and even try to come up with a solid build for it. If that's something you guys want to see, please let me know down in the comments below. Again, a like and subscription is greatly appreciated. And if you want to catch more of my content, check out my Twitch stream, where I will be doing a ton of grinding and recording live when Lightfall drops, and also check out my TikTok for more short-form content. Both will be linked in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this build slash exotic review slash look ahead to Lightfall type video. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.